Hi everyone, this is Jing Zhao, the lecturer of the course AF5366, Applications of Computing and Technology in Accounting and Finance 2. In this course, we will learn the advanced technology with a focus on its application in accounting and finance. In particular, we will introduce you the machine learning algorithms, its definition, its implementation methodology, and its applications. We will also spend some time on coding Python. So at the end of the course, I hope that you'll be able to build up your own machine learning models and use the model to analyze real life data. In this video, we will first give you a brief introduction to machine learning. So what is machine learning? You may have already heard about this term, right? Nowadays, machine learning is a very hot topic. Now imagine that you have two pictures, a cat and a mouse, so Tom and Jerry. Is there a way to train the machine so that the machine itself can tell you from the picture which one is Tom and which one is Jerry? Well, there is. You can feed the machine with hundreds of pictures of cats and mice and help the machine to build a model based on these examples. So this is what we call supervised learning. In this supervised learning, we give machines hundreds of data input with labels of cats and mouse, showing it with the important features, for example, the height, the size, the color, and the machine will learn to differentiate a cat from a mouse based on these features. In this way, the machine can recognize from a new picture, telling you whether it is Tom or Jerry. The second type of machine learning is the unsupervised learning. In this type of learning, you don't have a predetermined result in mind. You just let the machine to explore the features of a large group of data. Okay, and you let the machine to try to make sense of the data by yourself. So basically, you feed the machine with pictures of hundreds of animals without labels. And the machine will figure out clusters of these animals based on their features. Now, for example, in this learning algorithm, we create clusters of animals with different sizes. Here we have three clusters, the big cluster, the mid-sized cluster, and the small cluster. Another type of machine learning algorithm is very popular. It's what we call the reinforcement learning. It's actually, this, it's actually a learning algorithm that is very similar to how we human beings learn as a child. Remember that when we are young, our parents will give us rewards or punishments based on our own behavior. So when we perform well, we receive rewards, and when we do something bad, we will receive punishment. Reinforcement learning works in a similar way. Now, with an input of data, the machine generates an output. Instead of just ending here with this output, you actually give feedback to the output. The machine will carry that feedback, make adjustment to the learning algorithm, and generate another output. You give feedback again, the machine performs another step of learning, and the same procedure goes on and on and on until you arrive at an ideal outcome. Now, to summarize, what is machine learning? Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience. There are three types of machine learning, the supervised learning, the unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In the supervised learning, we are given a data set that are labeled with correct answers. Popular supervised learning algorithms are regression, classification, etc. Well, as at the unsupervised learning, we are giving a data set that has no labels on it. Popular unsupervised learning algorithms are clustering, association, etc. In the reinforcement learning, the machine receives feedback on each learning step. Well, in the future classes, we will learn these learning algorithms in detail. The machine learning algorithm actually has a lot of applications. The machine learning technology has developed to the extent that sometimes it can be smarter than human beings. 
For example, the recent re AI translators can outperform humans in real-time translations. The advertisement in social media, they are all customized now, and sometimes they know you better than yourself. The accounting and finance industry is also adopting machine learning technology, for example, to help detecting fraud. Not to mention the recent surge in the robo-advising industry. So many of the brokers are trying to create robo-advisors to predict stock price movement and give automatic stock purchase recommendations. The machine learning technology has developed to bring great convenience and welfare improvement in human life. In the coming lectures of AF5366, we will dig deeper and discuss the most popular machine learning algorithms and their applications in accounting and finance. Before we come to an end, let's review what we have learned today. So exercise. Of the following examples, which one would you address using a unsupervised learning algorithm? A, given a data set of patients diagnosed as either having COVID-19 or not. Try to learn new, try to learn and identify new COVID-19 cases. B, given a data set of customer data, automatically discover market segments and group customers into different segments. So A and B, which one would you address using an unsupervised learning algorithm? Well, I'll give you 10 seconds to think about this question. Okay, time's up. So which one should you use a unsupervised learning algorithm to solve the problem? Actually, the correct answer will be B, boy. Why? Well, think about it. What is the difference between the supervised learning and unsupervised learning? In the supervised learning, you are actually given a data set that has correct labels on it. So option A, if you think about it, you're given a data set of patients diagnosed as either having COVID-19 or not. This is what we call a label. Label equals to one, you have COVID-19, and label equals to zero, you have no COVID-19. And then by analyzing these existing data with COVID-19 or not, you actually can generate a model to help predict the new cases, whether or not this new case has COVID-19 or not. So, Option A is actually you need to um, use the supervised learning algorithm. In option B, you actually are given a data set that has no labels. You let the computer to, um, to explore the customer data and to generate clusters of the customer data by itself. So this is what we call unsupervised learning algorithm. Okay, so did you get the right answer? <laughs>